Najashi, the first Muslim king. Long ago, there was a Christian kingdom of Aksum in Abyssinia, which is in modern-day Ethiopia and Eritrea. The king and queen of that land were very happy and finally had a child in 560 and named him Ashama, which means gift. Ashama's uncle got mad because he wanted to be the king after Ashama's father. So he came up with an evil plan. The uncle secretly killed the king. Since Ashama was very little, the uncle became the new king and Ashama lived with his uncle and cousin. As Ashama got older, he started to become very smart, pious, and talented. And he slowly started to figure out that his uncle killed his father for the throne. The uncle and his advisors got worried because they thought Ashama would kill him and become the next king. And the uncle did not want Ashama to become king. He wanted his son to become the king instead. So the advisors told the uncle to kill Ashama, but the uncle didn't want to kill him because he raised him. So he ordered to sell Ashama as a slave. Soon after the uncle died, Ashama's cousin became the new king. But the people did not like him. They wanted Ashama to be the new king. And the people of Aksum started to protest. And they found Ashama in a faraway land and took him back to the kingdom and made him the new king of the Aksum Empire in 613. And they started to call him the Najashi, which basically meant king in that area. Najashi, or Ashama, was a very kind and fair ruler, and the people loved him. Even though Prophet Muhammad was in Mecca, Saudi Arabia at that time, he heard about Najashi Ashama. At that time, the Quraysh were torturing the Muslims a lot. So, Muhammad wasallam told the Muslims that they should go to Abyssinia so that they could be safe. This made the Quraysh very mad. So, the Quraysh sent Amr bin al-As and his friend Abdullah to go to Najashi since they were not Muslims at that time and they had good connections with the king from before. They got a lot of expensive gifts for the king to try to get the Muslims back. Amr bin al-As told Najashi that the Muslims were really bad rebels and they didn't worship the idols like the Quraysh. They didn't even follow Christianity like the kingdom of Aksum. Instead, he said that they made up a fake religion, which was not true. The advisors and the generals told Najashi Ashama to listen to Amr bin al-As. But the Najashi said he first wanted to hear the Muslim side of the story. The leader of the Muslims, Jafar Radintala, told the king that they used to believe in a time of ignorance and lived in a very bad and unholy life. But then God sent Prophet Muhammad wasallam to guide them. He taught them that there is only one God and he told them to tell the truth, to help their neighbors, love and take care of their family, and take care of the poor and needy. Jafar Radintala told Najashi that the Quraysh started to torture them just for being Muslims. That's why they escaped to the kingdom of Aksum. Then Jafar Radintala read a part of Surah Maryam from the Quran. The Najashi and some of the advisors started crying, hearing the beautiful words of the Qur'an. The Najashi said that the message of Muhammad was the same message of Prophet Isa or Jesus peace be upon him. He told Amr that he would not give up the Muslims for even a mountain of gold and the Muslims could stay in Abyssinia for however long that they wanted. But Amr did not want to give up. So the next day, he told the Najashi that the Muslims don't believe that Jesus is the Son of God. 
Then Jafar Radantala told the Najashi that Jesus was a prophet and he was born as a miracle without a father. And his mother, Mary, peace be upon her, was pure and was not married. Najashi agreed with them and told Amr and Abdullah to go back to Makkah with all of their gifts. At that moment, Najashi became the first king to ever help the Muslim Ummah. Later, Najashi Ashama converted to Islam, and he continued to help the Muslims and showed the greatest respect to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Around 631, Najashi passed away at the age of 71. After ruling the Aqzum Empire for 18 years, in Medina, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam led the funeral prayer for the great king. The Najashi Ashama ibn Abjar's life started with the people betraying him, but that did not stop him from being kind and just. Because of the bad uncle, he wasn't supposed to be the king, but with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's plan, he became one of the greatest king of the Aqzum Empire. Not only did he help his own people, but he was the Muslim's first helper, a black Muslim king. And for that, he will forever be remembered. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward him and grant him the highest place in Jannah. Ameen.